You know, they certainly tried. I'm really, really proud of them. I think about, you know, I think about this week coming off that Maryland game as beat up as we were. They really, really tried. And for a while, we were able to, to hang in there. And then, you know, a lot of guys started going down and missing and different combinations. And I'm really, really proud of them. It's, uh, we're one of two teams in our league that played every game. And, you know, every single day we talked about it, our number one opponent was COVID. And if we were able to defeat our number one com opponent as a program, that we would have the opportunity to get better. And you get better in practice, but you also get better in live competition and games. And we were able to improve. So we won some, we lost some, but we got better. And a lot of guys got valuable experience that moving forward is going to be very beneficial. I wish we could have won tonight. You know, there's some guys that this was their last game. And I really, really wanted to win. But I also knew how hard it was going to be. And then we had a chance. You know, we, we, we had a chance and just couldn't quite finish the job. Family. It's one of the constants every time Rutgers took the field through this uncertain year. A building block of the program, along with trust and the chop. Each week, those core values help the young men in Coach Ciano's care prepare and rise to the challenge of each Big Ten opponent. And facing off against Nebraska for the final game of the season was no different. A good tackle that time by Trey Avery. He's going to lose two. Tyshawn Fogg right there to bring him down. Lost the football late. Who gets flipped upside down and lost the football. And Rutgers picks it up. Big Bo comes up big right out of the gate. I love the play call. Be aggressive. But a nice start to this game so far for Rutgers. Straight down the turn by. Rutgers takes a 3 0 lead. The Scarlet Knights attacked each snap as if it were the first game of the season. No one sat back. Fumbles the football again, and Rutgers has it! How about Rutgers attacking the football all year long? Victories in the Big Ten have to be earned through a total team effort in all three phases. And while Rutgers' special teams may be overshadowed at times by the takeaways of the defense and the inventive play calling on the offense, they were winning the battle of field position. And the first six points of the game belonged to the Scarlet Knights but it would not be enough. The defense hounded the Huskers, but after forcing a fourth and goal situation, Nebraska got on the scoreboard and took a one point lead. It looked like they would build on that, but Coach Smith's defense rose up. Martinez fires, end zone, and it is intercepted Whoa! by Christian Isian with one hand in the end zone. How did he catch that football? What an interception, Christian Isian. His third interception in the last three weeks. The offense was eager to match the top 10 play efforts of their brothers on defense. Through lineup changes from the season's early weeks, the effort never wavered, no matter the down. Fourth down and one, takes a snap. Pacheco up the middle, first down and more. Breaks the tackle to the 20, to the 10. Adios, compadres, touchdown, Rutgers. Now Rutgers will try to make this a seven point lead. Bone Melton. 14 to 7, Scarlet Knights. By believing in themselves and each other, they were creating their own luck and opportunities to win. Though the first half belonged to Rutgers, Nebraska would once again take the lead, and it was up to the Scarlet Knights to respond. While the offense was eager for the challenge, so too were the guys on special teams. It will be Aaron Cruikshank from the Rutgers 2. Crookshank out across the 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. You shouldn't have kicked it to him because he's going to go down the sideline. 98 yards. He already has three of these in his career. Make it four. And that is how you become the Big Ten Return Specialist of the Year, folks. Things are different at SHI Stadium. Rutgers made their opponents pay for visiting notching their fourth turnover of the night and 19th of the season. They worked tirelessly to end their year with a win. 
all 11 men utilizing lessons learned on every snap. They stumbled in the fourth quarter, but never stopped rising up to chop again. <laughs>